Hey Jiggles, so it's me here, and I bet you can guess who I'm going to do today. Really, really big clue. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. R.I.D. Ultra Magnus. So. Let's move the camera so you can see all of him. There you go. Now he is quite a tall figure, as you can see. Yeah, that or I'm really short. <laughs> anyway. So as you can see he, as I was saying he's quite a tall figure. He's I'd say virtually the same size as R.I.D. Prime in his super mode. So, if we de weapon him for a moment, let's go. That's it. He is really great. And the detail on him is really good. As you can see, he has all that. And you've got you can put on there. Really good detail on this figure. Even on these little blue bits here, look, we've got some really nice detail. Here. This looks like orange or metallic -y orange mm. optics, which I don't think I remember rightly. He had yellow in the, um, what do you want to call it, in the show. But here, as you saw, he has another metallic -y orange colour. And one nice little detail is, can you see just above his head? Oh, I can find it. Where's your finger gone? <laughs> right here. Right in there. I'm not sure if you can see it, but it is an Autobot symbol. Slightly stretched and squished, but it is an Autobot symbol. Now his weapon can go into three modes. You start off basically with it like this. And then you can either change it to either of these by turning this down and then sticking the appropriate tab thing in the appropriate hole here. Now, he's actually supposed to make sounds when you stick these in, but for some reason mine doesn't, and I already changed the batteries. If I can just... There it is. Yeah, press this, and it doesn't make sound. Some strange reason. Mine don't make sounds. And I've already changed the batteries. 
So I have no idea why he does that, but anyway, I need to say for this side, he just puts it down. Oh, another thing I forgot to mention. You turn this to face whichever weapon you're going to use. So it looks like that. Yeah, uh, so that's, I suppose you could say two. The third one, you turn this this way, you lift this little blue section up. And then these, you twist around, no, hang on, you twist around that way, like that. Now you pull these back, and you just stick them in. So if I can show you, oh, it's supposed to make, whoops! It's kind of back heavy because it's that pack. So you're gonna, you have to watch out for that. Now, as I was saying, he is supposed to make a noise when you put them with this kind of weapon mode. But as I said, for some reason, mine doesn't decide to make noises anymore. So I have no clue what's going on there. There you go. See? Well, how it's supposed to look through here when his head's like kind of down here <laughs> is beyond me. <laughs> but there you go. That's his third weapon mode. In size comparison wise. I just fired a missile. <laughs> oh, where'd that go? Yeah, they can shoot, by the way. Um, excuse me while I go find this missile. I'm going to find it right now, but I'll look for it later. You have to be careful when you fire these because they're easily shot, unlike the other weapons. Anyway, height, he's a very tall figure, as I mentioned. He's taller than a movie Voyager. Very tall. Anyway. Now, to um, articulation. Right, his movement, he can go up and up and around like that. His go up like that. Now it would be able to go 360 if it weren't for the fact that this is in the way. We can only go up to about there. His little arm, this elbow thingy, can actually go 360. His hands can go 360. His head can also go 360. His legs can go up. And I 
can't go back due to his cab in um, vehicle mode. But I believe they can't. No, they can't. They can't even bend at the knee either. There we go. No back motion, no knee bending, just up like that. But they can if I've seen this. No, they can't. No, they can't. Okay, so that's basically his movement. So, well, these can move out a little bit. Not much.